it too like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea. It's the Nation of Podcasting daily podcast. I'm O'Shea. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram at the real underscore old barber brand and at Nation of Podcasting on Instagram and TikTok. Hip hop icon, mogul, and legend Master P talks about Soldier Slim. Now, as we all know, Soldier Slim, RIP, was one of the most influential Southern artists in hip hop. Even to this day, folks still want to act like, talk like, be like, rap like Soldier Slim, especially in the New Orleans area. Unfortunately, in November of 2003, his life was taken away from us due to gun violence. He was shot four times, three in the face and once in the chest. Sad way to go for Soldier Slim, RIP. But even with him being gone, his imprint on hip hop has lasted forever. Like I said, people still down south dress like him, talk like him, and he's still relevant. And his music is still relevant and still gets played to this day. Now, Master P said in a recent interview, he met Soldier Slim back in the day, and Soldier Slim got caught trying to rob one of his producers back in the day. That's what got them together and kind of connected. And then Soldier Slim told Master P he's trying to rap, he's trying to quit the drugs, he's trying to quit all of this so he can become a rapper. And Master P was like, ah, right, he's a crazy guy, but mess with me. He ended up signing the No Limit, and the rest is history. The Give Him To Him Raw CD was one of my favorite albums back in the day. I love Soldier Slim. I loved his raw aggression. I love his flow. I love the beats that he chose to rap over. R.I.P. Soldier Slim. Well, in this interview from Master P, Master P talks about Soldier Slim, how he met Soldier Slim, that robbery that happened, and the untimely demise of Soldier Slim. Let's take a look at this clip from Master P. You know what I'm saying? Like, getting in a lot of trouble, but probably one of the most talented guys I've met. And, and, but really living that street life, I... It was crazy. I mean, Tupac was nothing bigger than Tupac. But for us, Soldier Slim was that next thing. Now, I've heard a lot of New Orleans rappers and people from New Orleans say that Soldier Slim was their version of Tupac just from the way he lived, the lifestyle he lived. He was raw. He was authentic. There was nothing fake about him. The stuff that he rapped about was what he was actually living and then the way that he passed. So RIP Soldier Slim. Let's tune back in to Master P that we could relate to somebody that's really out there thugging, living that life. People don't know how I met Soldier Slim. I met Soldier Slim was crazy. So I met, you know, me being a street dude, I met Soldier Slim. He was trying to rob one of my producers. And he didn't know. And so when he see me, I'm like, homie, really? So he see me and my other homie, and he like, man, you better get up out of here with that. You know how it is. You know how it is. He was like, no, big dog. I ain't know that was your people. I'm trying to get my life together. I ain't getting high no more. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm trying to do music. But I'm like, man, that man tripping. <laughs> you know, some real New Orleans street stuff. So I'm like, man, give me your number. When you get your stuff together, I'm going to holler at you. You know? All right, so you see, that's how they connected to get him signed with No Limit. Soldier Slim, a real street dude, was robbing one of P's producers, and P said, man, you can't do that. And then Soldier Slim, man, man, I'm trying to get my life together. And shout out to Master P for hooking him up with a record deal so we could try to get him away from the streets and doing stuff like that. So let's go back to Master P, let him finish up this interview. I'm saying, he was like, nah, man, I'm telling you. And then everybody started calling, no, Slim ain't doing nothing crazy no more, but this is how I met it, you know what I'm saying? So it was just something about him, man, I couldn't turn him down because he, he just had that swagger that where he gonna come out there and let you know, man, look, I'm, he be beating on his own, making his own music, and, but he wanted out of that type of life. But it's another sad tragedy, he couldn't change. He was addicted to it. He was addicted to his homies. And what I was trying to show everybody from my brother, the soldier Slim, is like, we got to make a change if we going to make it. Like, we can't do the same stuff we used to do. All right, so shout out to Master P for dropping some game there. Once you start making money and you're able to get away from that lifestyle, you got to get away from it because it's like the crabs in a bucket thing. People, you try to make it to the top and people are going to keep trying to pull you down. So shout out to Master P. He's always dropping free game. On the other hand, Soldier Slim, what a real street dude, man. I wish he wasn't taken away from us so early because he was on the cusp of greatness. They had just released that slow motion single with Juvenile and that became a national success and he was getting ready to take off. The world had just been introduced to Soldier Slim and then he was taken away from us right before that song came out. So unfortunately, he didn't even get to see how the nation took to that song. Unfortunately, he was taken away from us way too soon, but his memory still lives on through his music and through his 
Friends, Juvenile, BG, Boosie Badass, all these guys still rep Soldier Slim. They still bring his name up to this day. To this day! Now it's crazy to think that he got signed to No Limit for robbing one of P's producers. That's crazy to even think about. But like I said, Soldier Slim was a real street dude. His music and his presence in hip hop is missed. Nation, what do you think about Master P's comments on Soldier Slim? What do you think about Soldier Slim? You like his music? What do you think about the untimely way he passed away? Nation, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. Hey. Shay and I have been kicking it strong for a minute now. O'Shea doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. O'Shea is a professional model. Attitude like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea.